There's a new exchange-traded fund tracking companies involved in blockchain. That's the, the technology behind Bitcoin. Joining me now is Eric Irvin, CEO of Reality Shares. And Eric, we're talking about the new NASDAQ Reality Shares Next Gen Economy ETF, ticker BLCN. What is the criteria for companies in this ETF? Yeah, we wanted to put together a very robust process. This, this technology is so nascent, and so in so many businesses, it's hard to, to find that. So what we did was we came up with seven factors and then analyzed companies based on their role in the blockchain. So are they a developer of the technology or a user of the technology, or are they actually just providing a service as a, you know, blockchain as a service? And then to how many patents have they filed? How many different public filings have they done? And then what's their economic impact? You know, a company like IBM, that's a huge tanker, so it's very difficult to change direction on a business like that, even if their blockchain initiative is very successful. So we analyzed all those factors, rolled them up into a single score for every company, and then only selected those companies that had the best score. So IBM is in the fund, also mm -hmm. Accenture and Overstock, but I guess how do you signal out the blockchain performance of these companies? There's really no way to do that. Yeah, but it's so much bigger than that. So when you think about um, an innovation like the internet, for example, like something that was so big that could have impacted any business across all different sectors of the economy, that's what you're finding here. So even a huge company like an IBM, with an innovation like this, it, as they start to execute on that, and we're talking about billions and billions of dollars of cost savings as well as revenue generation. So it, it's going to you know, impact all of these businesses meaningfully if they execute. Now, when you launched the ETF, you initially wanted blockchain in the name. The SEC threw cold water on that. Why do you think they did that? You know, they, they're, they're dealing with a really challenging um, dilemma here right now. There's so much hype and so much excitement around cryptocurrencies and around all the speculation thereabouts. And so anything with the word blockchain around it could just drive a bunch of retail investors into something that maybe wasn't what they were expecting. And we've seen that when companies add blockchain to their name, the stock stores. Precisely. And that's a, exactly why we think you know, a new technology like this is so, so nascent that you really want an index approach and you don't want to own those kinds of companies that are just, just jokesters. You know. And many strategists I talk to are reluctant or hesitant about Bitcoin, but they're excited about blockchain. So how is Bitcoin different from blockchain? Yeah, there's no question that blockchain is um, is going to be one of the you know kind of the next big things. But just think of of Bitcoin, and, you know, to analogize it back to the internet. If if Bitcoin is the first killer app on the blockchain technology, email was the first killer app of the internet, right? Email was the first thing when everybody finally said, "Wow, this is amazing! I can now talk to someone from you know a million miles away in a second. This, this Bitcoin was just one of the use cases for the blockchain technology. All right, ticker BLCN. That's Eric right. Irvin, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me.